WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN, 4 p.m. Eastern Time on Tuesday as we reach the closing bell and the market catches a little bit of a bid. Check out the acceleration there, right? Uh, this is a five-minute chart we're looking at. About 3.30, we're trading at 47.87. We close at 4,800, basically on the dot in the futures. We're negative by 16 points right now. That's about a third of a percent. NASDAQ 100 on a day when chips and AI are accelerating higher. NASDAQ 100, we'll call it flat, 16,969 to get the Dow off six tenths percent, 37,557 to get the Russell leading the way off 23 points. And that's after being up, what, nine points off the low, still off 1.2% for the Russell. Bitcoin, off about 240 bucks, 43,540. You got crude with a 71 handle, pushing the session lows today almost, 71.88, down 80 pennies. Gold, just talking a little gold with our man Tim Ward. Gold right now, down about $20 on the session. We got dollar strength, man. I'm going to get over to the dollar in a moment. Gold, down $20 at 2031 You jump to notes and bonds, lower price, higher yield. So what do we have? We have higher yield, dollar strength, market weakness, the theme at least to kick off this trading week. And there's your dollar, man. Up 97 pennies, we'll call it, to 103.73. But if gold's going to trade higher, what's going to happen? You're probably going to get a little bit of weakness in the dollar. Interesting to see how that's going to shake out and check out. I mean, I was, I was looking at this even as I was talking to Tim, finished up the program last hour. Absolutely remarkable when you look at gold longer term. That's your gold contract going back to when? 2004, 371. You accelerate up to highs in 2011 of 1923. We're within about $100. I mean, this consolidation area is totally right at all-time highs from 2011. You get above that area in 2020. We've been chopping around since then. So interesting to see if that's where we go. And you take a look at the dollar index, goes back to 2004 as well, right? Not outlandish to think, right? Where are we? We're at the strongest point we've been in in the dollar index outside of the last two years, 103.73. Many times we've been sending them at lower prices, uh, even when you go back to where we were taking COVID out of the scenario. 2018, we we're down at 90, man. Spent a lot of time between 95 and 100. We're sitting at 103.37, so maybe there's your correlation, right? What are you looking for? If you're looking for a gold bull run, what are you looking for? Eventually, we're going to get there, folks, a weaker dollar. And that's probably going to come when we eventually start getting those cuts, which are coming maybe just a little bit later than the market was thinking. But right now they're talking June. That's going to be here before we know it. Thanks so much, folks. Have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. Thanks so much.